springtime, the wildflowers rage. Summer greens, and time turns a page. Autumn wind, the tall grass browns. Winter wind, the snow comes down. But the land it will never change. Tall brown grass at the edge of the unfarmed field lies a discarded harrow plow. Its edge is still hard and sharp to my touch. Its original sheen camouflaged by rust and a winter's worth of dead blades. I pass by this relic on my walks along the path that dips down into the ancient woods just above the bluff, just above the river road, and then the Missouri, the river always present, always flowing toward the confluence just beyond the hills and bends. The row of copper-tinged discs long ago ceased their purposeful cutting through soil becoming part of the landscape instead. Not in the way, but neither of any use. Yet I look for it each time I pass, a remnant of some farmer's life and livelihood, and I keep waiting for it to disappear, captured by a treasure seeker for its rustic beauty as ornament for suburban landscape, a subdivision of its whole an authentic self. But it is now as much a part of the field as weeds and birds and the occasional fox skittering along the ridge, left there as it should be. It continues its gentle descent from steel to dust, unable to perceive its own beauty and history of usefulness its own stories of its younger self, of cultivated fields, of spring plantings, full of hopefulness and prosperity, of the day in 1948 when the curious boy, the fledgling farmer, long dead now from old age, tripped on a root and cut his hand on its sharpness. So often we only see such things as the old they have become and forget it was not always so. In the rust and dirt and brokenness, we cannot imagine bright futures and the promise of efficiency, cannot fathom the crisp cutting edge, nor the agility and ruggedness of its youth. New from the dealer, delivered on a Thursday afternoon when everyone gathered around and looked upon it like a newborn, knowing for sure that it and they would certainly last forever. A man on a dream. And only believe in things he's seen. Is best to the fading light on oh, night after day and day after night. 